What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and in this episode I want to share with you five tips to improve your user interface designs. Let's do it. All right, tip number one is going to be to bring prominence to the elements or the most important elements inside of your design. Let me tell you what I'm looking at right here is a card that has no prominence, has no hierarchy. Where is the user supposed to look right now? This is our broken version, but if we go ahead and turn on our fixed version, you'll see by bringing a little bit of prominence by using basic design tools like color, size, proximity, iconography that pops. This tells the user that the most important thing on this card is the price and to go ahead and buy. Let's take a look at tip number two. You can see I have an interface that has a bunch of icons in it. These icons are filled, but these icons are empty. And so tip number two is to make sure that your icons are consistent inside of your design. Let's turn on our fixed version of this thing and see a better version where our icons are consistent throughout. So you can see we have filled icons and filled icons. That's just gonna look a lot better for your entire design, especially as it scales. Let's head over to tip number three, and this is to make your call to action extremely noticeable. I know, maybe you wanna do something that's a little bit more fancy, a little bit more interesting. I get it, but you need to make sure that your call to action is clear, discernible, and it's the primary thing that the user can see. Here on our art uh, posting uh, application, um, the call to action is actually just this little teeny tiny plus button. That's not a very good call to action. Why don't we do something a little bit better than that? Again, it may not be that subtle thing that you want, but it's very, very clear what the user is supposed to do here. They're supposed to upload more artwork. And so that's tip number three to make sure that your call to actions are clear and prominent. All right, let's jump over to tip number four, and that is as your typography size decreases, your line height must increase. You can see in our example here, we have a headline, subheadline, and body copy, and our font size is moving down, 36, 22, 18. And you can see that the line height is also moving down. So this is 14 pixels more than the font size. So we get this line height of 50, right? As we're moving down, the line height's moving down, and that's what's giving us this cramped look and feel in our typography. We can do better than that. Why don't we turn on a new and improved version of this, and you can see that we have our headline, subheadline, body copy, 36, 22, 18. And as it's decreasing in size, you can see plus 10, plus 12, plus 14. You can go in kind of groupings of two here if you want, or you can try something else, but just understand that the line height must increase as the text size decreases. So make sure you do that. You're gonna, it's gonna be a lot more legible, a lot easier to read. Let's go to our fifth tip of the day, and that is to make sure that your shadows are all coming from one consistent source of light. So you can see in our broken version, we have a drop shadow. The light is here pushing the drop shadow to the left. The light is here, pushing the drop shadows here to the right. And our light is above, pushing our drop shadow down below. Why don't we do something with a little bit more consistency? All the source of light, all the drop shadows are moving in one direction because the source of light is hypothetically here. You see our drop shadows are moving down. Our drop shadows are moving down and down. And now we're gonna get some sort of consistent look and feel for all of our drop shadows. That's five user interface tips to improve your designs today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell notification icon so you know when another video like this one comes out. I hope you're having an amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things, making amazing things, and we'll see you in the next one.